Hello everybody, welcome back. YouTube.com slash Geekloud Brother. Let's install today. It is Goat Simulator 3. Let's ram this on our PS5, shall we? Now, I've got to say, I've already gone hands-on with this one and it's an absolute gem. If you enjoyed the old uh, Grand Theft Autos that were top-down, essentially a sandbox of just craziness, that is what this game is in droves. I can also tell you, if you've got young boys, they will love it as well. This one's been uh, really lighting the family up over the weekend. I highly recommend you play this one. So, it's Goat Simulator 3, native PlayStation 5 version, going onto a PlayStation 5, and it's only 3.609 gigabytes. But I gotta tell you, it's a lot more fun than that. Now, for our full hands on impressions, I invite you to come along Thursday night, 8 pm ish, right here on Geek Aloud for the Gaming Enforcement Agency, our video game weekly podcast, and you will get our full hands on impressions of Goat Simulator 3 there. But I gotta tell you, Put this one on your Christmas wish list. It is a fantastic time. But for now, let's install Goat Simulator 3 right here, youtube.com slash giggle out. installed Goat Simulator 3 onto a PlayStation 5. So let's boot it up and check out that menu. We'll have a look at uh, what kind of options we've got, uh, video options, any kind of accessibilities you might want to check out. There's one recommendation that you know I'm going to make, but we'll get in there in a minute. I should also note this game has four-player local co-op, and if you've got the family to support it, it is a lot of fun. I highly encourage you to go hands-on, on-the-couch co-op with this title. It's, uh, it's probably the goatest game of all time, I think. It's absolutely fantastic. As you can see, I've been playing a bit there. We've got some stuff, but we'll go into the settings and here's the first one you've got to change. Field of view sliders, crack it all the way up to 120, get the full fisheye effect. It's an absolute joy. And then over on the accessibility front, note that you've got camera smoothing, camera shakes, uh, and as I always do, I turn the subtitles off completely. They're very distracting and I'm not for it, but they're the only recommendations I'd make. Other than that, boot up this sandbox and have yourself an absolute blast of a time. It's so much fun. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, here we go, down to the information, and I can tell you, Goat Simulator 3, oh, two other things I need to tell you. One, it just came out on Friday, so recently released, but also the code for this install was supplied by the developers. Thank you very much for your support of the Let's Install series. If you're a developer out there and you want your game on the series, send me a code, I'll get you the video. It's that simple. But Goat Simulator 3, uh, three, four days after launch. It's currently version 1.000.005, and that is 3.65 gigabytes. I hope you can come along Thursday nights, 8 p.m., and check out the Gaming Enforcement Agency, where I will go in-depth with the boys, and we will go all over this one. What else can you do with Geek Aloud? Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it! Everything about it. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Old Uncle Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> <G> Donkey. <laughs>